Welcome back to the channel YouTube. Let me talk to you. So if you guys haven't been living on the rock, you know that we will be getting a new Star Wars film starring the one and only Rey Skywalker, directed by one Shereem Obeyed Chinoy. We as an audience will never ever be free of the chokehold that Kathleen Kennedy has on Lucasfilm and the Star Wars franchise. Let's get into it. So like the intro said, we will be getting the new Star Wars film. And the one thing that they are continuing to perpetuate out of the box is the force is female. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with female protagonists, but the problem with Lucasfilm is that they cannot write a female protagonist or great characters in general to save their life. Now, introducing the new director of the new Star Wars film, Star and Ray, Shereen Obey Chinoy, and her comments that she likes to make men feel uncomfortable and that it's good to see a woman shaping the Star Wars universe. We've been getting those type of films for the last seven years, or as long as Kathleen Kennedy has been in the lead, the driver's seat of Lucasfilm. They are losing so much money. They have lost so much money over the past years that I don't understand why. First of all, Kathleen Kennedy still has a job. If this was any other business and you as a lead, a manager, a CEO were costing your company millions, if not billions of dollars year after year with bad decision making, you'd be fired only in the movie industry only in Hollywood can this type of nonsense survive. Solo lost $73 million. The Force Awakens did well only because it was the first Star Wars film that came out in decades and they played it so close to the chest that it literally was a new hope. Then we have Rise of the Skywalker and The Last Jedi. Now, both of those films gross over $1 billion. But the problem is this is the biggest franchise in movie history. These films should be grossing more than $1 billion. These films should be making Disney Lucasfilms money hand over fist. But with the poor, poor decision making of Kathleen Kennedy, this franchise is going to continuously be driven into the ground. And us as fans, we are beating a dead horse and thinking that they are going to go away from this forces female. The people that they're targeting for this are not going to see these films. They are not the ones that are putting the finances on the table for Disney Lucas films. The fans that the, the old guard, I should say, of fans have now been alienated and Disney will continue to lose money. But yet again, the writing is on the wall of why these films are doing so bad, but they still continue to perpetuate, as the critical drinker would say, the message, the force is female. I don't know what we're going to do as fans. I don't even think I want to be a Star Wars fan any longer. I had a lot of hope in the franchise that they could turn around, but Dave Filoni completely destroyed any glimmer of hope that I had left with the Ahsoka series. Ugh. And now we still have to look forward to the Acolyte and we still have to look forward to this new Ray film. They still want to tell people that, oh, these films are not being successful because men hating on women. No, us as an audience hate terrible characters, hate poorly written characters hate heroes that do not have the hero's journey. And what they did with some of the main characters, the main men from the franchise, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo. Han Solo's death is arguably one of the worst mistakes that they have made. Luke Skywalker was supposed to be the pinnacle of what the Jedi were, but yet they trivialized his character down to some homeless hermit. I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know where we're gonna go from here, but I sure as shit, I'm not interested in any Star Wars franchise, but with that said, 
I will invest my time into some of these things just to see how bad they are and bring this news to you guys right here on YouTube. But other than that, I don't think there's anything else that they could do aside from a hard, hard, hard reset that will make me and others like me interested in this franchise ever again. Until next time, guys, my name's Lincoln. This has been an RPG show. Like, comment, sub, and I'm out. Peace.